Details about a vigil that will be held for the Vancouver mother and daughter who detectives believe were found dead in an embankment in Washougal this week. So, of course, you might remember they've been missing since early March. The mom's boyfriend is a person of interest in their disappearance. Our Liz Birch has been in close contact with law enforcement is digging into the domestic violence resources in southwest Washington. Liz joins us live now from the Clark County Courthouse. Dan, some new information we're just learning. Organizers say there's going to be a vigil for the mom and daughter. That's going to be Sunday at 11 a.m. at Esther Shore Park. Of course, that's in downtown Vancouver. Organizers are asking that people who attend wear red and pink. They say those were the mother and daughter's favorite colors. Misha Melendez and her daughter Layla Stewart were last seen March 12th. Investigators tell us someone spotted two bodies in Washougal Wednesday morning. Detectives, of course, believe those bodies are that of the mom and daughter. Kirkland Warren, who police say was in a relationship with Melendez, is still a person of interest in the disappearances. Court documents I got reveal Melendez had reported physical abuse and threats in the past from Warren. He's also a wanted man in an Arkansas murder case. I talked to the YWCA today who say they see a spike in people reaching out to them when there's an incident like this in the community. Have you guys seen an increase in people reaching out this week with this highly publicized case of the missing mom and daughter? Yeah, when it, when we first got the news that the daughter and uh, mother were missing, we did see a increase in people reaching out. And then especially when we received the news uh, that they had been found, um, yesterday, we had quite a few walk-ins and people reaching out to our 24-hour hotline. It's definitely a time where people are reevaluating their circumstances. We put that hotline on coin.com. They say research shows when someone strangles their partner or has access to firearms, the risk of homicide exponentially increases. According to court documents I got today, police said in early March they believed Warren was a credible, lethal threat to Melendez. They asked the court to make him wear a GPS monitor at the time. I did reach out to the court about that today. I have yet to receive answers to my questions. I'll let you know once I do. I also reached out to VPD to ask them if anybody is facing any charges in relation to the homicides. Uh, they have not answered that question yet, but of course I'll let you know once they do. Live in Vancouver, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News. Liz,